soccer after. Well, here I am in Brisbane City, up on the beautiful Brisbane River, just out of South Bank. And I can tell you there's a beautiful sunset just behind me. Some cats are running up and down the river, kids playing over in the park. You can't get much better than that. But I'm here to fish. And as that cooler weather moves in, some of those beautiful fish that we all love, like the mulloway or the jew and the snapper, they all come into the bay. But I'm here for one fish, and that's a thread fin. And I'm going to show you exactly how to catch these big land-based thread fin. And the great thing about land-based is you don't need a boat, so anyone can do it. So stick around. I reckon this is going to be a pretty exciting episode. Thread fin salmon are widely distributed in the Indo-West Pacific, from the Persian Gulf to Papua New Guinea and Northern Australia. There are two species, the king and the blue. And in Australia, the king species extend all the way from Exmouth in the north, right here to the Brisbane River in the east. remember when you're fishing these rivers off land based is pontoons and uh, pylons under the under the jetties and stuff the threads yeah. will usually come up and take a one last dash of getting away just as you get them to the surface and they'll yeah. snap bust you off i so, don't want that mate <laughs> nah but you'll be all right with this usually matty recommends a running sinker rig a six ball on the main line reliable mustard 60 circles and about a meter of abrasion tough leader should do the trick So while we're preparing that, Dave will show you how to throw a cast net. So now we're going to uh, catch some live bait to catch these big threadies. So I'm going to show you how to throw the net. The first important thing is to make sure that your net's tied onto your arm. So I just use a simple slip knot onto my arm. From here we go down our cast line and grab and wrap it up into our right hand if we're right handed, left hand if we're left handed. All the way down to the net. Where, from here I go 20 centimetres down the net back into my right hand, and then again, till I have about a foot and a half dangling out the bo bottom. From here, I go to the center of the net, pull it up into my right hand, and go three times down the right lead line onto my hand. So from here, we'll have three lots of lead in our hand, and then a dangling left lead line. And from here, we pull about half a meter to a meter up into our left hand. When I throw, I wrap around to the left of my body, releasing my right hand first and left hand second. But when you're night fishing, it's always handy to have these, these little clip-on lights. So all you do is um, pull these out, just snap them like that, and they light up and they glow, hopefully. There we go and then straight on the end. I'll see with these prawns, there's, I don't know if you can see that, but there are dots that run along the joints of the plates on the side of their body. Yep. And what we'll do is we'll come up, there's the top, and we'll come down and we'll pin it in the second one. So from the tail, one joint down, and right through that yep. black dot. So we're, yeah, just right there. Yeah, I right can see there. that. And out the other side like that. And that's it? That's it. And we'll cast him out, and the thready will just come up and gobble him up. All right, let's do this. As the tide slows, thread fin and dew really start to become active. And so did the anticipation as we waited for the sound of a screaming reel. Oh my God, what is this? Well, this is what we like to call a cocktail. And we grab a whole different mix of bait. So I've got a mullet on there and a prawn. Sometimes you can have a mullet, prawn, herring, or a frog mouth pilchard. The works, and you just cast them out. And I've caught a fair few good fish doing this. All so. we need is the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool, mate, I love that. Yeah. There you go, there's another tip for you. 
a cocktail, not the one you drink, but hopefully the one that the thready takes. I'm calling shots on this one, guy. <laughs> Good on you. Hooked on Coast Fish TV? Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss a thing. sign of hope was on the end of my rod. Whether it's to be the lucky one, well, remains to be seen. Not what we're after, but hey, who's complaining? Look at the size of that. <laughs> That's not bad, is it? How's that? Well, hopefully that's the start. At least we know there's fish in this river. <laughs> oh, and within minutes, something a little heavier came along, which gave me a bit more bang on the lighter tackle. <sighs> Just a local catfish. Not what we're after, but a good way to start the ball rolling in the Brisbane River. Next to go was Matty Spin Gear. up with another one of those caddies. So on goes a fresh bait, Maddie's special thread fin cocktail, and it was all systems go. As the tide slows, thread fin and Dewey really start to become active. And so did the anticipation as we waited for the sounds of a screaming reel. Maddie missed a good run. But it was Dave's real screaming that got all our attention. Oh, see those head shakes? Oh, still be there, mate. It's not shark, it's snippier. Yeah, that's a bit bad. Oh. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, you just go under me. Yep. I think we should be right there. Yep. Yep, got it. Got it, got it. You're out. You're out. Oh, shit. What is it? Oh, under this one. Under this one. Yep, oh, yep, oh. yep. Yes. Smoke. What is it? Oh, ready. Ready. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm going back out, sorry. That's all good. Come on, David. Oh, no, no. Bust him out. Bust him out. He's still there. He's there. Oh, yes. The excitement was hard to beat, especially when it was in the form of a beautiful Brisbane River threadfin salmon. Well done, mate. Cheers. Awesome fish. Well done. High Thank five. you. Yeah.
Yeah, it's a good fish. Um, we get them around this time of year in schools, around this 80 centimetre mark. They're great eating. Um, we find that sometimes they don't release too well with their bloated stomach and swim bladder and that. Mm. That happens with a few of them, but this one's going to be going home onto my dinner plate. I'm a bit jealous, mate. You want to share a fillet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, it's, she's all yours, mate. Well done. Cheers. You know, that's, that's what's so awesome about land-based fishing. You can catch fish like this and anyone can do it. That's gold. Yeah. And she is gold. Yeah. Have a look at it. It's a good fish. Well done. Cheers. Good on you. What a really exciting night it was, and I'm with this man to my right, Matt Hodgson. He delivered the goods, Brisbane River, threadfin salmon. We did it, mate. Give us one of them. We did it. Awesome. And these guys, Matt and Dave, Briz-based anglers on Instagram. Yeah, mate, we got a... Oh, mate, you're a champion. Thanks so much. So I got a little bit of one of his fillets, and that's not too bad. At least I get a taste of the uh, beautiful threadfin salmon. Thanks, boys. Absolutely wrapped. We'll see you next time on Coast Fish TV. Catch you later. Action. What an exciting night it was. Uh, I've got this man to my left, mate. High five. We did it. We did it. We did we it. <laughs> it's OK. Let's do it again. <laughs>